We have seen this week that Excel is an excellent tool for creating visually appealing charts. Sometimes, however, we wish to see those charts in our presentations or our reports. The good news is that the charts we create in Excel can easily be shared with other applications by simply copy-pasting. There are a variety of paste options that we should be aware of, so let's take a look at them now. We're going to start by copying our regional sales chart into a Word report. We follow the same copy-paste process as before. Select the chart by clicking on it. Come up to your Home tab on your ribbon and click Copy. You can also right-click or use a keyboard shortcut. Now go to the application you wish to paste into. We're pasting into a Word document, but it could just as easily be a PowerPoint presentation or many other software applications will also let you paste charts into them. Now click in the document where you want the chart to go and either click Paste or your shortcut key, Control v or Command v on a Mac. The chart is immediately pasted in, but you will notice the fonts and the colours have changed. That is because if you work in a Microsoft application, by default it will use the destination theme, which is a set of colours and fonts. This is good because it now means that this chart matches the other items in this report. If that wasn't what you wanted, however, you do have other options that you can select. At the point where you paste, a little clipboard icon comes up and if you click the drop-down, there are in fact five options we can choose from. By default when you paste, Excel uses the destination theme and links the data. If I'd wanted to keep my original colours, I could choose Keep Source Formatting and Link Data. Now what does it mean to link data? Well, when we actually pasted this chart in, it kept it linked back to the original Excel workbook, which means if the values in that workbook change, this chart will update. Let's see this work. So coming back to my Excel, I'm going to change my Sydney figures um, to 150,000. And when I click Enter, you will see this chart has of course changed. But what's more impressive is when I come back to my Word report, it has changed here as well. So a really powerful option for keeping your charts linked back to the original source. In certain circumstances, however, you might not want that. So you have two other options you can consider. You can embed the workbook using destination theme or embed it using the source theme. So again, you get that color choice. If I embed the workbook, what that means is that it is no longer linked back to the original. It has taken a copy of that original worksheet and embedded it in this Word document. So I can still edit the chart and change the figures, but I'm no longer linked back to the original. There is one more option if you wish to avoid the complexity of either linking or embedding, and that is the option to just paste a picture. Now here you don't get a colour option because it literally takes a snapshot of the chart, treats it as a picture rather than a chart and pastes it into your document. This cannot be updated, but again you don't have the overheads that either linking or embedding might introduce. So five options to choose from. If you know at the point where you come to paste which option you're going to use, you can go directly to that option by using the right click option. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to come back to Excel. This time I'm going to select my pie chart, right click and copy. Back into my Word report, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to right click and there are my five options. I have to choose one of them. So let's go for a keep source formatting and embed workbook. And there I have done my paste option all in one without having to go and revise my options. So very easy to share your charts just by using copy-paste, just don't forget to select the option that you want.